Zoom system. I'll come to you when I see your hand raised electronically. Anybody manage that? Mark, I don't think there is a raise hand function on this. So you need to go to the participants bit and raise your hand there. I can't go, I'm not on the screen. Let's start with um, Charles Watts, please. Mark, shall I start a question? It's Harry Pratt. Let's go for it, yeah. Hi, Mikhail, congratulations. Um, just that your, your match winner obviously had another incredible game today. He said afterwards that he had nothing to say on the subject of his new deal. And I know you spoke with more optimism. Can you just explain why he's so important and why you think he'll stay? Well, uh, you asked me my opinion and what my feeling is. And that's the feeling that I get with conversation I have uh, with him and his people. Um, obviously, nothing is done yet, but I want to enjoy the victory. Uh, thanks to Oba again for the performance that he had and how much he helped the team. Really sorry, but we can't hear this. Yeah, I can't. We can't. I can barely hear it. Sorry. Hello? Unmute yourself. I am. We're just, we're just checking the technology here. Bear with us. That's better. That's me? better. Yeah? Hello? Yeah, that's, I can hear that. Okay. Can you shout like you're on the touchline? <laughs> <laughs> I lost my voice, so I'm afraid that I cannot do it no more. And the, the other question is from, from um, me, Mikel, is the, I'm in Highbury right now. I can hear the horns going off from the celebrations. What's your message to the supporters? I presume it's this is just the start, isn't it? Well, it's a, it's a good start. Um, thank you so much for all the time being so supportive uh, for the reception I got from the first day. When I walked through this incredible door, um, I completely understood that uh, the needs of this football club are so high and I want to fulfill those demands. I know the expectations. It's a trophy. It's absolutely for them to take them, to enjoy it, hopefully to be proud of the club that they support and the players that, uh, that they always cheer for. So hopefully they can enjoy it together, maintain the distance, please, and enjoy it because it's all yours. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Mikel, if I may ask, it's Andy Dillon from The Sun here. Um, this is a, a lovely trophy to win, obviously. Fantastic, congratulations. There's a, a difference in winning this, though, and uh, getting Arsenal back to challenging for, for league titles. Is this the first stepping stone to that? Will give this give you confidence for that and getting Arsenal back to where they really belong? Yes, I knew the challenges I was facing uh, the day I made a decision to come here and uh, the expectation that we're always going to have because the history and the legacy of this football club is incredible. But uh, here is the first one. Let's enjoy it today. We know that there's still a long way to go to improve and many other things, but uh, it's something that uh, I am very proud of how we have changed a lot of things we, since we joined. The players have been fantastic, the staff, Thank you so much as well for the people upstairs that have given me the opportunity to represent and to manage this incredible football club. And, and again, thanks to the people for the support and, and the belief. I take it Aubameyang won't be going in goal, though. Excuse me? I presume you won't be putting Aubameyang in goal anytime. What do you think of him dropping the trophy? <laughs> yeah, it can happen. I think it happened a few years back as well. He needs more experience with trophies. You know, we can get him used to that. <laughs> and you also paid tribute to Pep Guardiola very briefly I wondered if you'd mind expanding on that for us please well there are two people one is Lorenzo Buenaventura is the fitness coach and the other one is Pep they've been two key figures in my development as a coach they always believed in me they gave me the incredible opportunity to work with both of them and uh, that is my gratitude I know that I wouldn't be sitting here today Without them, um, we had an incredible journey together and always they give me the freedom to decide my future, even if it wasn't a very easy moment. So I have to thank them big time because they are a big part of that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mikhail, um, I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah. 
over will stay. Can you just talk about talk us through his contribution today, the penalty, how he won the penalty and scored that, and then that incredible second goal? Well, big games require big moments for big plays, and he's delivered that in the semi-final and he's done it again in the final. And that's why you ask about those players. Some of them were questioning that he could not do it in big games. There we go. It was a big, big part on delivering this trophy. So he's done it, and we are so proud to have a player like him in our squad. Mikhail, you've you've won this trophy now as a captain, assistant manager, and a manager. Is that the greatest moment of your career? I think so. I am really proud of what we have achieved because I know the difficulties and everything that we've been through. Uh, for me personally, it's been so tough the last six months for a lot of things that have happened in, in our lives. But uh, I had only one mission when I came here and it was to, to make the players and the staff believe that we could do it. And we had to change that energy and that mentality. And just by seeing them in the dressing room all together, the way they enjoy now the profession and and in and the time together it's what it makes me more proud and it's a consequence of of that that after we can achieve things that we can win titles together and we saw that you had the likes of william saliba and scott drummer staff in players like that here today Mesut yeah, and all, they are all part of it we don't have here mateo and mesu they are a big part of that because they all contributed on here so they all should be big part because they all of them have contributed to this trophy should we read anything? Should we read any, anything into the fact that Mesut and Matteo weren't here today? No, oh, let's enjoy this moment. Thank Mikhail, you, Mikhail. Mikhail, can you hear me? Yeah. You, you you seem to use the first drinks break to kind of really rally the players and um, maybe even change the tactics. Is 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 that is that a correct assumption to make? Well, we can always use those moments uh, to make some correction and try to give them valuable information to the players to help them on the pitch. But I think after we concede the goal, we play probably the best 35 or 40 minutes since I arrived here against a team that, in my opinion, now is one of the best in Europe. The way they've been performing, the results that they had against uh, any team in the last few few weeks. So big credit to our players and, and congratulations. Mikel, you, you alluded to it there briefly, but could you reflect on how tough an introduction this has been to, to management for you, not, you know, not just with... The football in matters, but off the pitch and illness. I think I could write a book because uh, it was day after day. Mark has been along the way here with me every day, and uh, every day was something different. It was always an issue. It was always there yeah, a step back or another problem. But uh, I am very lucky the people I have around me um, in in the staff, and as well the people upstairs, that supportive for every decision that I had to make. I think if you are sitting in this seat, you don't know the responsibility and the, and the decision that you have to make. I try to make them all the time with my heart and with my gut feeling and what I believe is the best, first of all, for the group of players and after for the, for the club. And sometimes we go get it wrong, but uh, I am proud of what we've done. Do you think you could have made it through this period if it was not a club like Arsenal that means so much to you? Well, I think that has added a lot of pressure on me because um, I know the standards and the expectations that are linked with this club. But as well, obviously, I knew a lot of the insight. I know a lot of people that I trust at the club that could feed me very valuable information in order to accelerate a little bit the processes. And I had to rely on them big time. They've been really supportive with me and they jump on board straight away after I joined. So I have to thank them big time. Mikel, can you hear me? Yeah. Mikel, sorry to be repetitive. I missed the first answer because of the a couple of technical problems, but just on Aubameyang again, what makes you so confident he will stay? And and can we expect to hear some news on him in, in the next week? I hope so. Uh, um, everything is based on my conversation with him. You know, how he sees his future, what I expect from him the team that I want to build around him and the conversation I had with the people that are very influenced uh, around him. You know, the club, we all, we all respect him, we admire him, the players are all behind him, we know the players that we have and we have to value him. I think if we reach all of those points, I think we'll get an agreement with him.